Royal Bulong Rainforest is in northern Para, estimated at 130 million years old, and is much older than the Amazon Rainforest. It covers an area measuring more than 100,000 hectares. It's the last remaining forested landscape in Peninsula, Malaysia, supporting a high concentration of large mammals such as Asian elephants and Malayan tigers. We had a three days, two nights tour to Belom, immersing ourselves in the wonders of modern nature, visiting some of the most beautiful landscape we have seen, and of course, completely enjoy every moment in the virgin jungle. We have visited three places in the forest, namely the shower waterfall at Sunga Kuei, Salt Lake at Sunga Papan, and the fish sanctuary at Sunga Ruok. I will show you what we have done at the Salt Lake and the fish sanctuary in this video, and there will be a separate video about Sunga Kuei waterfall. We walk on a 30 meters suspending bridge hanging across a small river where we can enjoy the nature from a different perspective. It took us about 10 minutes from the suspending bridge to the Salt Lake area. The trail is much more forgiving than climbing over rocks and passing across the streams like at Sungai Kui. There are 12 areas where wild animals would come by to obtain their salt nutrients at Belom, and the Salt Lake and Suma Papan is one of the most accessible ones. Salt Lake is a place where animals can go to lick essential mineral nutrients that they need, which is essential in the ecosystem with poor general availability of nutrients. Mineral dari patu, tapi sudah masuk ke dalam air. Jadi binatang nak lek bukan patu tapi air dan sambal dia yang akan datang and then uh, is a very good spot lah for predator to catch their prey hmm. not just uh, the prey and also the poachers so they can stay over here and then just shoot the animal hmm, dia akan tunggu saja lah so getah dia warna merah dia punya resin kalau merah so that's why Di, dipanggil sebagai uh, bleeding tree. Tunggu sekejap belum keluar lagi merah. Dia akan keluar merah. Dia akan keluar merah. Tu. Oh, kami out ni. Betul betul merah. Kalau orang Melayu panggil kemenyan. Kemenyan, kemenyan. Boleh tekan tu smell apa? Stang. So we, you can use that to stop the bleeding. Senduduk. Oh. Senduduk bulu. Senduduk bulu. Which one the big one? Huh? To release the leech. No, no, to stop the bleeding. To stop the bleeding. The reason can I put it in this one? So elephant, so they can walk in one big loop in the forest. So every two years, every one year and a half, they can come back to the same What tanda lah? So this is the mark. Oh, they put them. a mark there. And then the root must be near to the uh, water. Water. water because they drink uh, around 100 gallon per day. <laughs> we did not encounter elephants, but we saw bamboo pulled down by them on the trail. Elephant eats bamboo as a source of roughage. And then Merbau is our national tree. Lah. One keras and satu lagi dia punya tumbuh saran setahun tak sampai satu inci and then they can go up to 30 meters or oh, 250 yeah. meters <laughs> this one no worries dia tak dia tidak berbisa twenty three to 25 of them so you bayangkan kawasan yang seluas lebih kurang dalam 300,000 hektar hanya 20 ekor saja yang dalam hidup dalam tu. So dia sangat-sangat uh, dia hampir ke arah kepupusan lah. Our last destination was the waterfall at Sungai Ruok. 
The jungle track is quite easy to walk, but still can get wet when you cross a stream. We took about 15 minutes to reach the waterfall. Soon we arrive at the impressive waterfall, which is a fish sanctuary. Although the waterfall is smaller than Sungai Kui, there's a pool with countless small fishes. Over here, you can feel the real experience of nature. However, the pool is quite deep, so please wear your life jacket if you are not a good swimmer. The water temperature here is very low, and it feels like you are bathing in ice cold water. You can just submerge your feet and enjoy a natural fish park. After a day of hard work of climbing and trekking, we return to our boathouse where good food is abundant. There were no other visitors we ever met on all the jungle adventures we took. On one hand, I prefer it to be that way, but it is also a selfish act if not to share with you. Our next video will focus on accommodation at the Below Rainforest Resort and the activities on our boathouse. Stay tuned, see you in the next video, peace.